The show's promoted by a big boxing family from London, the Bowers. Duke Bowers is the man with the mic. This is the best, the greatest sport in the world, gladiatorial, one to one. You can't pass the ball back to the goalkeeper. You can't throw the ball in touch and you can't hit it over the net. It's a gladiator sport. Robert Peel, is he, is he a Welshman? He's Welshman, South Wales, yes. Do you know anything about Robert? No, very, very little. He's, a, um, he's had a couple of contests. Um, I know he's a, a good, strong boy. Um, it should be a good fight. Still, nice one. Cheers. Cheers. Come on. All the best to you, Robert. Cheers. All the best to you. As soon as you're walking out of the dressing room to, uh, to the fight, you, you just focus on what you've got to do. When you get into the ring, oh, there's a Glenn uh, going to be uh, when the, the crowd shouts in. You see, it's a good feeling. It's, it's, it's exciting. Robert's fighting in the super middleweight class. There isn't always a way in, he says. He's fought boxers far heavier than himself. Meeting for the first time in the ring can be an unpleasant surprise in more ways than one. As always, he'll do his best, but it's far from certain that winning would be the best for his career. Unless, that is, he can afford to risk losing new opportunities, the chance of new fights. His only worry is his eyebrows. They bleed easily and could prevent him from going all six rounds. He's already in trouble after the first round. Everybody agrees that Robert's got heart, real guts as well, and can take a lot of beating. The Welsh are known for that too. It turns out to be a good evening. His eyebrows aren't cut too badly and the match is on its way to going all six rounds. The crowd's happy, but there is, as usual, more to a fight than meets the eye. They whisper in the ear, they push you, or they, they butt you. You get bitten sometimes. Uh, just all, all sort of tricks of the trade. The last round, Robert knows he's behind. All the boys in Wales are tough. I mean, there's not a lot of promotions in Wales. So 90% of the boys who box from Wales box away from home. And uh, they're all, all brave, strong lads. We've uh, had, to, had to grow up fast out there. And finally, the referee doesn't hesitate. As in most of the fights this evening, the hometown boy wins. But Robert has earned around 700 pounds. Another hard fight, but, you know, enjoyable. I thought that uh, Glenn Townsend, I think he deserved to win the fight. I mean, uh, it was close. I've had fights before where I've had complaints, but tonight, no, no complaints. Uh, this is my 25th one tonight. I've won five, drawn one, and lost, what, 19, is it? Yeah, 19. But uh, looking down my record, I think I should have only lost about half of them. But that's the way it goes in British boxing, unfortunately. Are you just a stepping stone for somebody else? <coughs> you could say that, yeah. When I first started off boxing, I had big dreams of doing well. But uh, no, I'm, I'm enjoy I still enjoy it. That's why I still do it. And uh, it helps pay the bills. 
so that my, my wife and my, my three girls can uh, live a bit better. You know? Life in Wales isn't what it used to be. The pits are closed and boxing may be soon going the same way. The shows are also just about a thing of the past. People in the boxing business blame television. The more money television has pumped into the sport, the worse things have become. Promoters have to struggle to survive nowadays. 